Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Things are getting more lively and more interesting. I want us to have a look at a post shared out by Alfred Keter, former and Hills member of parliament. The post is going to inform the basis of our analysis right now. Alfred Keter, breaking news. William Ruto was to attend a church service at Kerotet in Wasingishu County tomorrow, but has been cancelled due to unpopularity issues. Now he has opted to go to Kipsitet, Kericho County, and the challenges are the same. At the moment, Kericho's Kenya Kusha dealers are going house to house to bribe people with a thousand bob each to attend and support him. Things are thick. Keter is saying William Ruto was to attend a church function in Wasingishu. That's tomorrow. But because of some unpopularity issues, he has been forced to cancel that attendance and instead proceed to Kericho. I want us to put this into perspective for Kenyans to understand what this means politically, assuming it's true, as Alfred Keter is trying to insinuate. But we also know Keter is a non William Ruto's critic. And sometimes propaganda in politics is also allowed. I want us to understand what's happening here. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Let's proceed. Alfred Keter is trying to insinuate that the ground is very hostile for William Ruto in the Kalenjin nation. What's happening here, ladies and gentlemen? Looking at what is currently happening in Kenya and looking on how Kenyans have voted in the past elections, I don't think much will change. Kenyans can hate William Ruto. Kenyans can say all sorts of things they want to say. But come the election day, a majority of Kenyans will retreat to their ethnic cocoons and they will vote along party and ethnic lines. So when you see a rebellion against William Ruto in the Kalenji nation, I can't be too much optimistic that come election day, the Kalenji nation will reject Ruto. I can't be that optimistic. In the past, we've seen such rebellions, but when it came the election time, Kenyans retreated back to their ethnic cocoons. And come the next election of 2027, things might not change much. The Kalenji nation can rebel, but come 2027, a majority might still support William Samoy Ruto. That's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Equally, Kenyans in general should also not be very much optimistic that come 2027, they will have good leaders. From what we have seen again from the past elections, and things might not change, Kenyans prefer electing their persecutors. Those people known to be persecuting Kenyans 
Those are the ones Kenyans normally do elect. Those seen as corrupt, the looters, the murderers, those are the ones Kenyans normally do elect. The data you are in Kenya, the more likely you are to be elected in a top public office. So come the next election, maybe, we might still see the same persecutors, the same looters coming back into office. I know it's very painful, but that might be the sad reality of things. Kenyans will easily forget about all these noises they are making now. A day in Kenyan politics is a long period of time. If all this was happening, Around June of 2027, I could be a very optimistic person that maybe this time around Kenyans are going to vote differently. But all this is happening almost three years to the election. <laughs> what will be the mood in the Kalenji nation maybe after one month or two months or one year? What will be the mood? I'm not very optimistic. And now before I conclude, let me also remind Kenyans that Alfred Ketel, in 2022, he contested for Oda Party Nandi Hills parliamentary nomination. And he won that nomination. He beat his challenger, Bernard Kibor Kitur in the Oda Party nominations. Keter was denied the Oda Party ticket and given to his opponent, the person he had beaten in the Oda Party primaries. Do you know what happened? When it came election time, Nandi Hills residents rejected Alfred Keter for Ketur, the person Alfred Keter had beaten in the Uda Party nominations. Let me remind you of this. Alfred Keter of Nandi Hills has lost his seat to Uda candidate Bernard Kibor Ketur in a battle perceived to be between Deputy President William Ruto and independent candidates in North Rift. Mr. Keter garnered 18,037 votes against Mr. Kitur's 23,503. Total votes cast were 41,979. Mr. Keter turned independent on being denied the Uda Party ticket in the primaries. So, Alfred Keter won Uda Party Nomination, he was denied the ticket given to his challenger and the challenger won that seat. That shows how tribal Kenyans are. They are more loyal to their ethnic affiliations and party affiliations than to good leadership. And that's what I'm seeing might happen again come 2027. Let me stop it there. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Those watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. Stay tuned for our next analysis. We are also explain why it's high time William Ruto should forget about the mountain votes, let him, if possible, reorganize the Pentagon votes we saw in 2007. Maybe Pentagon votes can give William Ruto a new lease of life politically. But he should not be very much ambitious or optimistic of the mountain votes. Let's meet in our next analysis.
thinking. 